YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Versace, and this one is Hawash. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this scent if you don't know about it. Now, this fragrance has come about quite a few years ago, and this one has been talked about quite a bit for its resemblance to Invictus Aqua 2016. We know that was the one that was discontinued. So today, I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on this scent and let you know where you can pick it up and if you should. Now, for full disclosure, I did get this bottle in from FragranceBuy.ca, which has been one of my go-to sites for years when it comes down to buying fragrances online. They did send this bottle to your boy because they are now having a sale going on right now. If you're watching this video before July 4th at midnight, then you are good to go. We're talking about Eastern Standard Time. They got a few deals going on on their website, which I'll have linked and listed down below. They have some special deals going on for their Canadian and American. American customers so be sure to click on the links down below and also look at the details to determine which is applicable for you multiple offers going on right now so you do not want to miss out now let's get into this scent here as I mentioned this fragrance is somewhat of a legend in its own right and almost as legendary as the OG now hot wash has been legendary in its own right because it does a few things well when we're looking at what we deserve in fragrances we look at performance and terms of longevity, projection, complement factor, all of those things that you would want to expect with a fragrance, well, this one has it. Now with that said, I think there are a few schools of thought as it relates back to this fragrance and others like it. Depending on where you are in your fragrance journey, this may or may not be a must buy for you. And let me explain. So first things first, Hawass is really not an expensive fragrance and it's far less expensive than you trying to capture and attain the OG version of Invictus Aqua 2016 as those bottles have gone through the roof in terms of pricing based upon them being discontinued and no longer readily available. Now with this scent here, you get a lot of the same types of feel, the same smell, almost the same everything where you compare them side by side. Now when I say that this may not be an immediate buy or may be an immediate buy for you, depending on where you are in your fragrance journey, there are a few things that come to mind for me and first off, let's get into what you're into with incense. Now for me, I have a wide range of fragrances, whether we're talking about niche, designer, clones, etc. You name it, I have some type of variation of that within my collection. But some people out there don't really play into designer fragrances or clone fragrances for that matter. And that's the case, then this scent would be disappointing for you. However, if you are like most people out there and enjoy designer scents, then this is a fragrance that is going to be very pleasant for you and those around you. As I mentioned, Hawass is a play on a Paco Rabanne fragrance, and we know that Paco Rabanne fragrances don't really provide a lot of challenge when it comes down to what they're doing. Really, they just are there for simple, easy to wear fragrances, and this one kind of has that same suit. This one possesses that same freshness that you would get in Invictus Aqua 2016. You also get some of those same types of note breakdown in a profile, and as it being a clone-esque scent, then you would imagine that you would get that as well. That Tonka plays the same. There's also plum, burger, cinnamon within this fragrance and it comes together in a way that I feel is extremely enjoyable for most. Another cool thing about this fragrance in addition to its low price point is going to be kind of the situations that you can wear a fragrance like this in and this scent is pretty much a catch-all. You can wear this one to the office, wear this one casually out and about. It really does not matter. A hot day outside. Uh, you can wear this one to the gym. It really doesn't matter. This scent is pretty much a do all fragrance and it still has all of the things that we talked about in terms of performance longevity the compliment factor is there as well and it's a scent that again is going to do wonders for people who are looking for a scent that has that Invictus 2016 feel without paying the Invictus 2016 pricing and I know that there was a 2018 version of Invictus Aqua but some people out there did not enjoy that quite as much 
Now on the flip side of this scent here, as I mentioned, depending on where you are in your fragrance journey, you may not feel that this scent is for you. If you are looking for a fragrance that's going to be more challenging, something that is going to be a little bit more complex, then this scent isn't going to be for you. And if you are like, oh, this fragrance has been super hyped, um, in terms of your expectations on this scent, I would say don't blow them through the roof. This one is a great scent for what it is because you're looking at kind of what the fragrance originally was. Now we talk about the original, the OG, when we're looking at this, the Invictus Aqua 2016 got a lot of accolades for a lot of good reasons in its own right, but there are going to be some people out there who hate on this one like, oh, it's a clone, so therefore I can't wear it. But listen, man, in my opinion, my humble opinion, all right, if you are looking for a fragrance that provides a lot of the same feel, longevity, again, is great on this scent, then this is one that you should be in the market for. Now, again, reach out to my people over at Fragrance Buy dot ca they got you hooked up right now for the independence day sale um goes through midnight on uh, july 4th so make sure that you do take that opportunity to pick up anything from their site and again i'll leave all those details linked and listed down below for you i have not been disappointed by any fragrance that i've gotten from the house of Versace. now i only have one other fragrance and that one I think it's called Yalukwam or Walukwam Poem. I can't remember the name of it but the subscriber gave it to me down in Miami. He actually sent it to me. We talked about it um, when we met down in Miami and this scent here um, is really just another nice scent that they've delivered well on. So I don't think many people out there will be disappointed with a fragrance like this. And again, if you are familiar with what Paco Rabanne fragrances do and kind of what field they play in in terms of their wheelhouse, then approach it in that way. And I think you'll be a-okay with the fragrance like this. And again, with the price point, you really can't go wrong. Are there any other fragrances from the house of Rosasi that I need to check out? Um, we got Hawas here. Again, I got the La Yuquam Pour Homme, which is another phenomenal fragrance for them. Uh, very raspberry, tobacco, uh, spicy fragrance that just works well on skin as well as in the air. So let me know and I'll be sure to check those out as well. I'll leave all the details linked the list down below for you as always i'm your boy big big b don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn bell